Nollywood actress Fokia Kidele on Thursday shone the 20 years of stage celebration of his colleague and best friend Enola Badmos. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from this channel. This is no surprise to many fans, considering Funke's Akindele's beef between her colleague Etoyi Abraham and Yabojo. However, many people feel the friendship between Funke Akindele and Enola Badmos is one sided, as the latter would not ignore Funke's party over issues with her colleagues. Funke Akindele was visibly upset at the party for shared photos and a video of Enola Badmos celebrating a huge milestone in Hollywood. According to reports, Fuki Akitele was at home with her family and couldn't go to the event, bearing in mind that Tony Abraham and Yabo Ojo would be there and avoid any drama. Recall that Fuki Akitele and Tony Abraham usually shun each other on social media during bad days, wedding anniversaries, premieres, and other celebrations. The outstanding actresses who have been feuding and refused to attend each other's movie premieres and other events began their active careers in the Yoruba film industry and have made their mark on the silver screen in recent years. However, when it comes to interpreting movie scripts to the latter, they are arguably no pushovers. Tony Brown recently released a sequel to her movie, The Ghost and the Tout, which premiered on the night of September 5, 2021, ahead of its official date slated for September 10, 2021. Fuki Akidele also announced the release of her own Omogeto the Saga movie on Netflix on same 10 September 2021. This move angered Tony Abraham's fans, who believed Funky Akidele did it on purpose to reduce the ratings and sales of Tony Abraham's The Ghost and the Tout. To make matters worse, popular Instagram acclaimed movie reviewer Cinema Pointer rubbish Tony's movie and in the same post advised her followers to sit at home and watch Funky's movie via Netflix instead. The post generated a lot of reactions and backlash from Nigerian celebrities and fans. Yabo publicly accused Funke of paying the blogger to pull down Tony. 